Next up, the Stanford Cardinal. Fighting trees. Believe that. Fear the tree. Stanford, 9-4 and four last year, went 6-3 and three in conference. They returned three starters on offense, uh, one of which, K.J. Costello, always good. Uh, five starters back on defense. Not the guys that you want, though. Number 118 in the country in experience. Number 12 in the conference. That is dead last for anybody that's keeping score. Good. Head coach David Shaw, 82 and 26 in eight years. They normally keep to a run-first philosophy, but last year they were number 123 in rushing and number 23 or 25 in passing offense. Offensive coordinator Tavita Pritchard. They get uh, quarterback KJ Costello back, like I mentioned, but they lose wide receiver Arcega Whiteside, and they need the offensive line to improve. It was the number 85 total offense in the country last year. Not good you defense. Won't. Defense right. always going to be pretty good under defense coordinator Lance uh, Anderson. But last year, number 115 passing defense. They've got only two defensive backs returning. So, as you and I say, maybe that's a good thing. That's, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe, maybe somebody better can but, come in. But they are bringing in nobody with real experience, and that's a problem. All so, right. at, at least early. Before you did this breakdown, I thought we might fight again. Maybe we won't. No, I don't, I don't think we're going to fight on this one. Only one road game in conference against a winning team, but a murderous non-conference schedule combined with little experience. I don't think this sets up well for David Shaw. What's their over-under? The over-under for them is 7.5. Over is plus 130. Under is minus 150. There's a lot of plus 130s out there, and I think Vegas knows. Yeah. These teams aren't getting there. Uh, yeah, I don't think they're getting there. I've got them at 7-5. and five. Got them at 6-6. Six and six. I think either one of those is completely feasible. Do you have um, them winning the Northwestern game? I have them losing the Northwestern Because our boys are listening. I've got them losing to Northwestern. Me I've got too. them losing at USC. But then I've got them going on the road and beating UCF because I don't think they start off 0-3. Uh, then they lose to Oregon. So they start out 1-3. and And then i got them going on a run. you got them losing to USC. So you really like this USC team. I think that this USC team early will be able to put up a bunch of points because I think that what Graham Harrell does will work really well with JT Shaw or J, uh, JT uh, Daniels. Okay. All right. So I and that's I just, might be wrong on this. You might be right. That's just my opinion. Um, but I, I think because their offense is going to be so different early, it's going to catch some people off guard. I don't right? think there's any way they win that UCF game. And let me tell you why. The same reason Cal might not win the Ole Miss the game. Miss game. They're going to come down... Humidity. In the middle of September, yeah, yeah, from the from the valleys of the the the, the left coast, from the from the Great Bay. Well, I'll tell you this: Palo Alto is pretty warm. Like it's it, it ain't the same kind of warm. It ain't 120, and you can't breathe. Yeah, warm. it's it's not walking through a wet towel. That's right. right. It's 120 percent um, community. This is what community? I'm community. Community humidity. I haven't. I'm just drinking water. Yeah, that's tonight's tonight's been a rough one for it me. It happens. Hey, you know what? It's because we've done it in two weeks. That's yeah. But that's it, man. I I think in these teams that come from north and and from the west coast where these where dry areas and they come south early, it's not going to be easy. I mean, yeah, look, and there's nowhere right. for you to go to prepare for that. Like you can like do things to go like indoor facilities to like suck oxygen out of them and and try to work with like. Uh, uh, altitude and things of that nature, and they, there's just nothing you can do unless you find a swamp somewhere. You're not preparing for this humidity. You're just not. Your body's not gonna be ready for it. I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna looking hit up you like to a see. Brick. I think the game is. I think it's at two thirty. Oh, that's gonna be brutal. That's that's kind of what I was. East thinking. Coast two thirty. Central way to be East Coast three thirty. It don't matter. It's you. You might be right. Where is UCF in the? Okay, right there. UCF, give me. Week three. Week three. It is a 2.30 p.m. game. UCF is favored by two and a half. They really needed that to be at night. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I don't know. I, I still just I, I think that that is the, the game that Stanford can pull off here. Because I, I, I think they lose at USC. I think they lose to Northwestern. I don't think they start at 0-4. Because okay. I'm, I'm fairly certain they're going to get beat by Oregon. But so after that, I've got them winning five in a row at Oregon oh. State. Uh, I've got them beating Washington. Whoa, uh, we see Washington way different then. I don't think so. Yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah, we, yeah, we do. 
Uh, UCLA, I think they beat. I think they beat Arizona at home. I think they win at Colorado. Lose at Washington State. Beat Cal. Lose to Notre Dame. I've got them 7-5, and 5-4 five, five and four in the conference. Okay. I got them 6-6. Six and six. I'm standing there. I can get down with that. Where are we going 